How's it going guys? This is Jeff with Ideolo Blog. I'm going to show you how to add a custom carrier logo to your iPhone. No jailbreak required. Obviously this is my iPhone 5 so there is no jailbreak for the iPhone 5 so that proves without a doubt that you can do this without a jailbreak. You want to download Carrier Editor. You can find the link in the description. Once you download Carrier Editor, uh, mount the file, run the app, and then click on Let's Get Started right here. It's going to need some quick info. It's going to need your carrier version number. You can find that from the general settings about section on your iPhone. Here it is right here on my iPhone. You can see under the About section and then you see Verizon 13.3. So your version number in this instance is 13.3. Again, you can find that in settings general about. So you just wanna type in your version number there. Mine is 13.3, click next. And then you wanna select your device. My device obviously in this instance is an iPhone. You wanna select your carrier, um, the name of your carrier. So I'm gonna select Verizon, LTE US. Okay, and then click on next. Once you have those confirmed. And now you need to add the actual logos. Now, there are a few logos bundled uh, with the, the package that you download. Um, those are bundled with the package. So once you mount the DMG file, you'll see these logos here. Uh, there are about, what, 10 of them. So you can select any of these, Aperture, Science, the Apple logo. We're just gonna keep it simple and go with the Apple logo. There's two actual files here, a black and an etched. You need to put them in each respective little box here. So black goes first and then etched, and there we go. So we are good, we're ready to compile our carrier update. So you just click on Compile Carrier Update, and this will save two versions on your desktop. Uh, your newly compiled carrier update has been saved on your desktop as Verizon LTE US in this instance, along with the original copy so that you can always revert, revert back. So there are going to be two files on your desktop. One is the original, one is the custom carrier update. Uh, so just keep that in mind so you can always revert back. Now to proceed, what we need to do is go ahead and to click on the how to install the custom carrier update. It'll give you some instructions, but I'm gonna show you this, uh, how to install this carrier update via iTunes. So it's gonna minimize this here. You're gonna open up iTunes, and then all you do, make sure obviously your device is connected and recognizes it, iPhone 5 in this case. Then you wanna hold the option key on your keyboard and then click on restore iPhone. You should see both files as I stated earlier, the original file, and then the custom file, the Verizon in my case, then click on open for the custom file. Make sure you have the custom file highlighted. And then bam, you should see the custom carrier logo update right there on the fly on your iPhone or your iPad if you're using the iPad. Now, keep in mind that this only works with cellular enabled devices that actually use carrier updates. So it only works with the iPad cellular, the 3G slash LTE version. And unfortunately it won't work with the iPod touch. It is called Carrier Editor, ladies and gentlemen. This allows you to update your carrier logo with a custom logo, no jailbreak required. Let me know what you think in the comment section. This is Jeff with iDownloadBlog.